here you can see the eggs in the Red Riding Hood shrimp. Neocaridina zingagensis. Uh, it's a form of a Riley or really morph. Here's the male with uh, food in his belly. That's what that black line is. You can see them sifting through the sand and the little bits of algae. And then again, the female with a saddle of these beautiful yellow eggs. You can actually make out the eggs and uh, assume that she will be shifting that saddle into her belly any day now. She's running out of room for that saddle. Uh, she's also full, you can see. And uh, when she shifts those eggs, right before she does that, she'll have visited the male again and have picked up uh, his fertilizing it's like a little sticky uh, packet that she puts at the entrance under her belly uh, right around the intersection of the red clear and yellow there and each of the eggs that passes through it will then be enveloped in a sticky uh, molt which is sperm and each of those eggs will then be fertilized and she'll then carry them under her belly with an enzyme and protein adhesive that helps hold them in place but she has extra armor on her side and that curled tail helps one, to let her swim away very quickly, but two, to kind of hold in extra eggs if need be. Um, we can see there's more females over here, and they are in with the Battis. She's got a saddle as well, but it is less developed. But nevertheless, on this strain, it's really cool. You can actually make out the uh, individual eggs, and they're a bright yellow. So that's, that's really fun. I really like that about this strain I got at Aquatic Arts. You can get them too, as well, uh, at Aquatic Arts, linked in the description below. And the Scarlet Battis that are in here with them, that I breed with together and uh, it's just a great little five gallon nano tank feature but you can put them in as big of a tank as you'd like this is a young f female baddest and uh, yeah they're just a lot of fun uh, I highly recommend these shrimp they're very hardy because they're a neocaridina and they're from the cherry line which makes them even more hardy than some of the, the green jades and things like that have gotten a little less than hardy. Uh, but these ones will withstand a wide degree of water parameters. These water parameters happen to be around 6.5 to 7 pH with a temperature of 76 degrees and uh, a TDS of around 150 if you were curious. And quite a bit of light and a planted tank, places for them to eat algae, and then I also feed them uh, shrimp veggie pellets, as well as a uh, omnivore slash uh, detrivore, detritus eating, that's what that means, uh, combo that has uh, some ground fish meal and other eggs and um, like brine shrimp and things like that in it all ground up into a little shrimp pellet and uh, I don't need to gravel vac or do much other than just top off the water as it evaporates 
and I just have a sponge filter and uh, a heater for just in case the temperature really dips. But I've kept these uh, shrimp in as low as 55 degrees and as high as 80, probably 85, uh, but that starts to push it. The hotter you keep them, the faster they multiply, but the shorter they live and the more health problems and bacterial infections they can get. So I've found that the sweet spot uh, of getting a high yield of them, but also having them live a while and not get infection after infection seems to be, uh, you know, somewhere around about 77 degrees. So that's where they're at. And right next door, we have Malawa shrimp, which are uh, Caridina parpidentis, I think. And uh, they come in a variety of colors also. But you can check out the other videos on them uh, and their color changing ways and all that jazz. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, if you uh, really want to know what happens and see these colonies grow and check out my, uh, my blue shrimp colony down here uh, as well as my other fish hatchery. <laughs> There's a lot of fish hatching right now. We've got some pregnant blue dreams in here as well. There's a nice pregnant female. Uh, then stay tuned. Alright guys, take care of your fish take care of your plants and of the people that you care about and if you do that uh, make sure that you're taking care of yourself uh, or you can't do the rest of that and if we all do that I think this world will be twice as good uh, and twice as pleasant to live in if just half of us do that. Good night from the shrimp village. This tank has around 400 shrimp in a 20 gallon. So you keep it planted right, you keep them fed right, and uh, it's it's pretty incredible what you can keep in a tank. Watch this. There's just piles of these shrimp. Just piles. All different color. Malawa and, and uh, also uh, gold nebula shrimp, which are from aquatic arts also. All right. Good night, guys.